she's been galactivated, and I've just fisted a unicorn. <laughs> Bali Come in here for a clean the body and then for a holy water spirit and then think about how the incense is smoke and the incense carries so that was a, a water purification ceremony 21 prayers for 21 more types of magic it's, it's a, a massive fish party, fish party. tantricorn workshop I totally got Lady Brainer from my new man crush. Fit Centaur. I don't fancy this one. Me Ying. In my past life regression, I saw myself as a Pharaoh God King. Look what someone gifted me. Pow! Just now! Cross section of Unicorn Horn. But this is the one. Tell me the story. Center the universe spiraling out into the four directions into the great song of creation represented by the Om Karas and then the Shiva tridents of the three aspects of creation, which is the creative aspect of, of Brahma, the, the time and destructive aspect of Shiva, and then that which is eternal, which is Vishnu. Actually, I think Vishnu is in the middle, like the Shoshuna, and then you have the Ida and Pingala as well. Just finished my Tantricorn Dance at Abyss workshop. So my journey essentially started in January at ISTA, International School of Temple Arts, inside a giant Yoni cave, where I, well, well, I was with um, 40 other people using menstrual blood and semen for a bit of sex magic uh, which showed me my uh, true purpose in life which was to be in service to the goddess as a sacred sexual awakener. It also showed me uh, a fellow unicorn called Forrest. He has a barley flow temple uh, in, in, in Ubud and he asked me to teach there so my journey from Hawaii, three weeks in London making money, quit my job, and then Tha Thailand to study at Agama and then ending up here has just come to an end. So I'll be going back to London uh, on May the 8th uh, to uh, tie up a few loose ends and then carry on on my journey as a sacred social awakener. More things to come! Just got a hippie upgrade. Not a third eye pine, but... Ta-da! The template from Star Child in Ubud. So much abundance here! Shiva corn and the Divine Masculine. Day 51 and a million hits on YouTube! Woo! Tantra coins in Bali. Yeah, I do. New Yoni Puja. Welcome to my new Tantra paddock. All right, twenty dollar bets. She's gonna make my boobs touch, apparently, without touching them. I'm not really quite sure, but I'm ready. Yeah, go. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> I lied. I lied. What I love about Bali is abundance. Everything's fresh. Everything's green. You can eat as much as you like. Um, because everything's raw, fresh, organic, locally sourced, all the hippie shit that you need. Everything's super high vibrational foods. Ta-da! Excess, you can dance, you can party for days and uh, you don't fuck up because there's no hangover, come downs or anything because it's all just good, sober, clean, ecstatic fun. So, abundant! I call this sacred hedonism. It's a thing. Well, it's gonna become a- it's a thing. I'm rebranding it. Sacred hedonism. Check it out. New Earth. So new. Disco Chakra Galactivation happening right now. Woo! Oh 
abundance and flow. That's pretty much my mantra for this year. A lion, a unicorn, and a fairy. It's a different picture. Every Hold time. up, are you Lisa Marie Schneider? <laughs> Another definition of a pussy massage. Just about to be filmed with Eric in Bamboo Inder, my favourite place in Bali, for CB Now. Look, there he is there. Uh, hello. <laughs> Hiya, babes. Tangicord, please forgive me. I've finally sinned. I've uh, ejaculated after 74 days. A wet dream got me in the end. The worst kind. <laughs> uh, my body started to change in the last 74 days. I feel more of the divine masculine. Uh, more testosterone in my body. Um, lasting longer uh, during my psychosexual rituals um, and also um, just experiencing orgasms that I've never felt before like full body orgasms, um, kind of lean risings, um, dry orgasms like you've actually felt like you've actually ejaculated but you haven't because it's still circulating within you so um, so yeah my uh, advice to all you men out there try 21 days and keep on going New moon New ceremony Spiritual life hack, write down the intentions and let it go. So we set our intentions today so we could harvest it on the full moon. Let's see what happens. Lingam to Yoni ratio in Ubud. So Yoni heavy and the irony is I'm polyamorous and everyone's monogamous. Oh, oh life. Shakti and Shiva can the backlash has happened. We're having an unconscious party. Is this the inner circle? Yes. Is, is this really the inner circle? Yes, through the weather. No one turned up to my workshop today. My Tantricon Dance in the British workshop was a complete failure. Even the cat's attacking me. Feelings of abandonment, rejection. <laughs> no one loves me. I've had the biggest workshops on the playa for many years. Just never had this. As many of you have seen in my previous videos, um, I love a good ceremony, I love sex magic, I love rituals. So since being in Bali I've created quite a few ceremonies um, with tantric lovers and clients, um, some being really fun like uh, the sacred ch chakra challenge or divine play ceremonies, or some being really transformative such as the sacred dragon ceremony. So the sacred dragon ceremony is all about honouring the dark aspect that you suppress and bringing it into the light. So the word guru means from dark to light. So this ceremony is all about that. Um, what are you ashamed of? What have you been too afraid to ask? What is your biggest fear during lovemaking? What is it that you've been suppressing, your deepest, darkest desires? This is what this ceremony is all about and doing it in a more heartfelt, more heart-centered, um, communicated, transparent way so you're both holding space for each other, for your shadows to surface and to be held to witness it and to integrate it. So um, for me, this was a really powerful ceremony because I suppressed a lot of my animalistic urges since being tantric. So back in the days I was into wrestle fucking, wrestling whilst fucking, choking, fisting, um, my, my uh, um, going down on girls, which I used to love, and anal sex, and basically being really wild. Um, like my old days of being a raging alcoholic and drug addict was all about Sunday mornings was lines of ketamine everywhere and Lamborghini bottles everywhere and just condoms flying around. It was ridiculous. And now since being conscious and tantric I don't want to lose control in that way anymore and I'm a bit scared of that old life but I need to incorporate that animalistic thing that I once had a lot of into my conscious lovemaking. Um, I found someone who was perfect um, medicine for me who actually used to love that, all of those elements, 
but was shamed by her lovers. So we got together and we created this beautiful ritual and now I can actually go to those dark places but in a more heart-centered, more loving way um, and using that dragon energy rather than that animalistic energy which a dragon energy is more calculated, more powerful and more present. So yeah, give it a go, sacred dragon ceremony. Go into your shadows, bring out the darkness into the light. The dragon energy is strong. Every tangicorn has a superpower. Mine happens to be a double yoni master. I just I'm a, a dancer and I'm ambidextrous. Two women at the same time. I didn't get to do my kundalini this morning. The Hindu girls are definitely the best looking girls by far. I mean look at his pants. Goodbye lucky pants. Those of you who know me will recognise these from nowhere when I first became a trashicorn unicorn. 2011. I think they've done all they need to do. <laughs> And the reason why I'm here is because of this unicorn here. Ow! Oh, his second birthday. Perfection. Safe and hedonism, sustainable for Kundalini, great music, and hot people. No booze or no drugs. It's amazing. Just finished my last dance in Ubud. And it was amazing. It's my final farewell to everyone. And what a dance it was. Just like Shiva, creating, destroying, hellos and goodbyes. Goodbye and hello. And I come to an end. Goodbye Bali, goodbye my two month trip around Thailand and Bali. Um, last night was an amazing way to end my time here. I basically uh, gave one of my favourite sessions, which is a double yoni massage um, to two empowered goddesses, it's where I sit in the middle and serve two goddesses, one on either side um, it's a science that I love behind it, there's a thing called mirror neurons so if one person's feeling something, the other person will feel it too so um, as I'm doing the same thing with both hands and channeling this uh, energy called the light of God both into their hearts, connecting all three of us into a circuit of energy and working my way down to their yoni it has a powerful effect. So, um, so yeah, I, I finished my trip. I'm going to London to go into Cocoon Stage to uh, reap all the gifts I've got from my trip, which is loads of amazing photographs and videos and loads of stuff I didn't expect to get. <laughs> to because uh, my background is advertising, I know how to build great brands, so I'm going to build my own brand, Sacred Sexual Awakening, uh, and then travel the world. Next stop, Sweden. I love Sweden! <laughs> I love Sweden! Oh my god, have you ever done it as a million hits on YouTube?